Hello, everybody. Dead Spikes here with Arc TV, and we're making episode two on how to tame everything on Arc. On this episode, we will be taming the mischievous Parasaur. Parasaurs are such amazing early game mounts. I will show you everything they can do after we tame one, and they're really not that hard to tame either. So, the things I would recommend you to have the club around three bolas, and then the material to repair your club. So I will have wood and fiber on me to repair my club. Now this will be a low level Parasaur, so I will not have to repair my club, but if you're trying to knock out something 100 or higher, it's gonna take a few clubs, and you're gonna wanna repair it while you're in the game. All right, so for a bola, what you're gonna start with, pull it out, and you're just gonna wanna wind it up and throw it out the Parasaur. Parasaurs do take extra headshot damage, so you will want to club its face. Depending on what level it is, it will take longer. If you are trying to knock out a hundred or higher, it's probably going to take all three bolas. So, after it breaks out of the bola and it keeps running, make sure your club's repaired, and go hit it with another bola and repeat the process until you knock it out completely. Try to hit the head as much as you can because it will give extra torpor to knock it out. After you've knocked it out, you will want to go around and collect berries. Now, if it's uh, below level 100, you should not need narcotics. I might be wrong. Maybe it's more like above 70 you won't need narc Or below 70 you won't need narcotics. But, um, yeah. Collect berries. Keep collecting berries. And there's two berries in particular that you want. We'll want narco berries. And meho berries. Um, now you feed it the meho berries. I wouldn't stick the meho berries in until you have enough. I'm pretty sure 13 is enough for another uh, level 12, but I will gather a little bit more. Maybe we'll shoot to that 20 range. All right. I can use other berries too, so if meho berries are going to be annoying like they are right now. My hope berries just give it a better taming effectiveness. We'll give it more levels in the long run. And it looks like the game does not want to give me my hope berries. So we'll just use the other berries. See how much it takes. This level 12. We'll stick my hope berries in. And then I'm going to stick my other berries in just in case this runs out. So one my hope berry gave it 12%. So, okay. Take about eight my hope berries. Not too long. Um, now the narco berries, they're going to increase this torpidity. So this torpidity, if it hits zero, the parasaur will wake up and you'll have to knock it out again. Narco berries, if you manually feed them by pressing your action button while they're in its inventory, it will increase that torpidity to keep it asleep. Do not ever manually feed the other berries. Let them eat the other berries on their own. That's how you tame them. But the narco berries can manually use your action button to keep them asleep. Um, you could, alternatively, create um, narcotics with a mortar and pestle, and those are a little bit more potent than narco berries. It looks like this needs to eat one more time to tame. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's at like 99.9%? I don't know. It says 100%, so it should be tamed. But I guess we'll wait for one more. Then we'll have to get the Parasaur saddle. Uh, right here. Level 9 is where you get the bola, so that's about the lowest level you can do this method. And now we're going to go make the saddle since we tamed one. I'll be right back. So we have equipped the Parasaur saddle. It goes up in this slot if you open down its inventory. And we got on the back of it. Not too hard to make. Just farm some hide from some dodos or lystrosaurs. Maybe some Parasaurs. And you can ride your own Parasaur. Now this thing has a lot of cool functions. So if you do the right click of it, I'm not sure what it is on controller, it will send out a ping. And that ping will look for hostile dinos or hostile players that are nearby. Oh, you can see I detected one. There it is. We'll put a little red ring around it wherever it is. Um, you can also make it do this while you're not on it by making it in turret mode. Uh, where is it? Alert settings. Enable turret mode. And it'll keep pinging on its own and tell you if anything's nearby. 
Other than that, it has amazing starter weight. Now look, this is only a level 17, and 528 weight is a lot for such a low-level dino. Especially if you tamed like a level 100 plus, you're going to have a good weight. But if you're doing metal runs, stone runs, wood runs, whatever it is, you can bring a parasaur with you and dump all of your weight into it, and it can carry it home with you. The last thing that I like to do with the parasaur is it can farm berries. Unfortunately, on Arc Ascended, this seems to be bugged, at least on official. Uh, I hope they fix it soon, but it sometimes just does not hit the bush that it's supposed to. But this is what it's supposed to look like when it collects berries. It just hits its head into the bush, and you get berries back from it. Um, so this, on top of it being a great weight carrier, and can tell you if there's hostiles nearby, on top of being able to be one of the easiest dinos tamed in the game, Parasaur is amazing, and I think everybody should make it one of its first tames. There you guys go. That is how to tame a Parasaur on Ark Survival Ascended. If you enjoyed this or you found it helpful, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want some more Ark content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe for future content. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bikes out.